Well, this is Thursday, and it's November the 3rd. This is our second day in the Antarctic. We're coming into Orne, or Orne Harbor. Not sure how you pronounce that. O-R-N-E. Temperature is still around freezing. And the wind is light at the moment. You can see that all of the sea ice that is here. There's that beautiful blue color that's so typical of this part of the world on the ice. We'll uh, be going ashore in a couple of hours and then we'll be cruising the area this afternoon. Some people are doing kayaking. Some are even camping out. That I can't imagine. But we should have a good day. The weather looks pretty good. It's overcast. Hopefully some sun will come out. Day number two in the Antarctic. Well, unfortunately, here on uh, our Thursday, the 4th, our landing has been canceled. Our cruising has been canceled. We're going to try another spot. It is snowing. It's foggy. And uh, the deck is slick as ice. The running track is slick. I'm just scooting my feet. And I'm headed back in because, uh, as you can see, no one's out here other than this idiot. You can fall down very easily. This is toward the back of the ship. We're just uh, too much sea ice, evidently, to get into the harbor. The ship hasn't been able to make much speed because of that. So they're going to try another bay. And uh, maybe we'll get a little cruising later this afternoon because it does stay daylight until about 11 o'clock. And then it starts getting light again about 4 in the morning. So, that's where we are right now. Later. Well, here we go on our first cruising adventure. There's Mr. Tom. Susie. And Chris, our guide and driver, we're out in the ice flows. Hopefully, something will be worth seeing. And it's snowing to beat the band. It does, yeah. It's, Zodiacs are pretty much the industry standard now across all expedition vessels are uh, this type of boat. Can you not turn the screen around? I can turn the screen, but I would have to turn the camera too. There he is. That's what I'm trying to go scout now. So there were some seals around this area. Not that many. Um, and it's surprisingly hard to relocate the same bit of ice that you saw um, in an ice field. So I'm going to do my best. Otherwise, keep an eye out in all directions. There is wildlife around. And we'll just see all what Alright, right, we'll see some more later. But really the that. So the reason why glacial ice looks blue and why some areas are more or less blue, so see there's stuff on the top that is pure white, it's just snowpack, it is quite fresh snow. The glacier you see is still just snow, but it's where the, ice, the snow on top of it is built up to such a weight it has compressed the snow below it into ice. Now the older the ice, the deeper in the glacier that it is, the bluer that it will seem. That blueness comes from there being less air bubbles in the ice. The, the light can therefore penetrate deeper. And the deeper into the ice it penetrates, the bluer it looks and it refracts back out. Tom, can you get the land over there? Straight ahead. So here we are again on Friday, November 4, 2022, our third day in Antarctica. We're in 
Nico Bay and we were scheduled for a landing at 11 o'clock this morning. It's about uh, 8.30 in the morning now. And as you can see, heavy snow is still falling. It's been falling for about 24 hours now. The ship is just completely covered in snow. And it's even forecast for a blizzard later on. So they canceled our landing, which was to be at 11, but some boats went out for cruising. We did that yesterday because we couldn't land. Here's some of our people out in the Zodiacs. We've elected not to go because it's just uh, pretty miserable out there, just getting beat up with snow in the face and so forth. We did see some uh, Gen 2 penguins this morning, a colony of about a hundred or so that were swimming and jumping as they do in the water, and that's uh, pretty much it. There's some more of our folks getting ready to go out. So hopefully we will be able to land. We're not supposed to land till late this afternoon at 5.30. Of course, it stays daylight till about 11 o'clock, but don't know. We'll have to see how the weather is. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. It'll be our last day in Antarctica before we turn around and head north back toward Ushuaia and going through the Drake Passage. So that's all for right now. Well, I do see the Gen 2 penguins that we saw earlier today. They are right there, if I can get in and focus okay. And hold the camera steady and, and the wind. They could get in pretty tight, but I can't hold the camera steady enough. It'll just bounce all around the place. They, could, they are swimmers. Oop, I lost them. There they are. All right, very disappointing day. Hopefully it'll get better. Well, unfortunately, we have more bad news here on Friday, the 4th of November. You see our Zodiacs are empty. They brought everybody back from cruising because an iceberg evidently is coming across the bay that is large enough that it could block us in. And so we're bringing everybody back from cruising in order to uh, make uh, a hasty retreat out of this bay. According to the staff, and the captain, the expedition crew, we still plan a landing somewhere this afternoon, but we need to get out of this bay before we get locked in. This is one of the hazards you get into when you come early in the season. It's just uh, late spring or the beginning of summer, and there's still a lot of sea ice that is out here. So once we get these Zodiacs in, we're going to be gone. Saturday, November 5th, and we're out cruising at about uh, quarter to nine in the morning.
like to lock up that little lamp. Can we stand up right now? So, the one stand up, please. So we get the other ones. Oh, they're right here. Are these a mixture of male and females, or yes. are they all? No, no, this is a mix. It's actually really, really hard to tell if a penguin is uh, male or female. Yeah, From the outside, it's almost yeah. impossible. But, but I've heard that it's the, the females that go out to the water to, to fish, and then the men, they, they take care of the egg, and they bring back the They take turns. Oh, okay. Look at that one lady. Like Oh, there's blood, so it looks like they've eaten something. No, that's not blood. No, that's uh. Ooh, that's oh, okay. Oh, wow. They eat trees, so everything is red. swim this morning for the Gen 2s. There they go. Yeah. So they, they'll be popping up somewhere here now. Over there. Where? Oh. <laughs> this is where we load. We get ready to go out on our expeditions and we're getting ready to go waiting for our boat to pull up and here's our crew hello hello crew and I'm here too just want you to know I'm going too all right Getting ready to have a good time out on the ice. Yeah. And here's where we will go. Yeah, hello. Pardon me, sorry. And here we are getting back in the boat, heading back. It's probably great. Do you see these snow? You have a chance to grab a bucket and dump the water on it. Yeah, we have a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Quite an operation. Getting ready to head back to the ship. And there it is, right there. What? Huh? Okay. Great. Turn around. Here we are. Headed back from the seventh continent and we've accomplished our goal well it's uh monday the 7th of november tomorrow morning we will be in ushuaia flying our way to buenos aires and then on to atlanta and to fort myers so the trip has come to an end we're getting ready to enter into the beagle channel I can open the door. Finally the snow has all melted off our lanai. This is uh, coming to the Beagle Channel. In uh, two days, two days we have been on the uh, Drake Passage. We called it the Drake Shape and it's really been rough for these two days. Now it's all said and done, and we're ready to head home. We 
we've had a good trip. We've seen a lot of things. So this is the end of our Patagonia and Antarctic expedition on the Roll On Hot Boot Sun, Berta Gruden Line ship.